jail, jail turn them back, back snitches. snitches. This, this, this is, is a motherfucking new, new again, and a night can't make, make red. red. Break, 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 break
to go on and test out our stream on gnj.media give it a test run to see how it's working um i'm soaking wet so i'm about to come up out this shirt but family um first thing first and then we're gonna get into the conversation because uh, this, this this is this is this has been burning me up. This has been burning me up. So I got the gate ghetto V eight. Mixed it up myself. Take this off. Good God. Got the Daily Toaster shirt on. You see it wet, soaking wet. But family, we about to get it. We're about to get it. I'm off the trail. Took my little run. Now, let's do it. Let's do it, right? On mile three. On mile three. First off, I want to welcome you to um, the Congregation of the Mighty. Make, make sure it's balanced. Home of the stubborn minority. The place. Hold on. There we go. Where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey. Media, I'm your host, Brother Hot Tim, and of course you know this is On Mile 3, where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. So, the thing that has been bothering me, the thing that has been bothering me, the thing that has been bothering me is this whole concept about the alpha male. Now... Um, unfortunately, brother John is not here, but I'm going to have John elaborate on it when he comes, when he comes back into the picture, cause he's getting some stuff together. But brother John brought this fact to my attention and he pointed me to a Ted talk and his Ted talk discussed the myth of the alpha male. Did y'all hear me? Did y'all hear me? Let me let me put on the war horn. Because I am so sick of hearing about this goddamn alpha male. This alpha male. See, and I want to be very clear with people, because I know some of y'all out there, after y'all hear this, you're going to get all, your, your, your panties going to get up into a bunch. You're going to get upset with Brother High Tim because you feel I'm coming at you. Whatever, bitch. Let me say this to you. The only place, the idea of the alpha male that a lot of y'all are coming up with, the only place it exists is in captivity, baby. This ain't Brother High Tim. This is the guy who did the study on it. The only place where the alpha male that y'all are talking about exists is in captivity. Which means for human beings, that means slavery. Or in your place of employment. Where you are under the jurisdiction and control of someone else that you have no idea about. And the only thing that you can do is fight amongst yourselves and oppress those that are like you or in your position. Or in our case, in our community, those that look like us. So we need to be very clear and, and, and very, we need to be very clear and very careful when we're using these terms that have been given to us. I'm an alpha male. I'm an alpha female. That means you're the top slave. That's all it means. All right, Brother Hatim, shut up, Brother Hatim. You don't know what you're talking about, Brother Hatim. Brother Hatim, you ain't shit anyway, Brother Hatim. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 got, you took your shirt off and all that. You, you old skinny self, you sitting up there fasting. You ain't fasting, Brother Hot Tim. You ain't go no 21 days. 21 days. And, and, and in my older age, I'm taking it easy, family. Because y'all know, back in the day, I mean, just, just three years ago, I do water the whole goddamn time. Now I'm giving myself a break in my body. It, it, I'm feeling good. But I want to share this with you. I want to share this with you. I just wanted to see if the comments would pop up. Comments ain't popping up. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to pull up the article. The Surprising Science 
of alpha males. This this is March 24, 2020. This is not when he did his this, his talk because this talk is much older. I want to go through this because we're using a language that does not benefit us. We're using a concept that does not serve our community, that's, that does not fit our style of leadership. The only place it works is in captivity. You know why? Because in captivity, somebody is feeding you. You don't have to use your smarts. You don't have to be the fastest. You just have to be the strongest. You have to be able to dominate everybody in the cage so that you can make sure you get yours first and you can decide on who get to eat first. Because you didn't hunt for it. Y'all didn't work together to get it. You just had to be the top dog you had to be the top slave to get it first and be able to hold on to it and decide on who gonna be your peons and many of us are running around screaming i'm an alpha male i'm an alpha female just say what it is just say i'm the top slave say it with me i'm the top slave come on now Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Right? Because I'm so sick of hearing this shit. Now, it's it's cool to talk about the high value male. I understand. I understand. But when we get into this whole alpha male language, the shit rubs me the wrong way. Right? We got niggas running around here talking about they alpha males. You know what I'm saying? They bitch made. They just just yell louder than motherfuckers. They call the police faster. You know what I'm saying? Niggas quick to pull a gun. Nigga, you ain't alpha. There is no alpha, you top slave. See, let's go and look at let's go and look at the man who 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 scientific paper. This whole idea that alpha male came out of. Y'all say, no, the, the, the idea of alpha male been around, no, it hasn't. There's some shit that he researched, that he did, and probably when he went out into the wild, his whole myth fell apart. But let's go and read. Let's go and read for ourselves. Let him speak it for himself. Because you know, on my three ain't supposed to be long, but I got to make it long because I did a little run. I ain't got nothing else to call the show. So let's go. His name is Franz De Waal, a primatologist and and ethologist at Emory University in Atlanta, explores the ways the human behavior around community, solidarity, and leadership linked directly to primates' behavior, adding context to our understanding what it means to be a human, alpha, female, or male. This is the transcript from his TED Talk. So go on and listen, family. We're going to go through it. Because I want you, we we got to have this discussion. Because y'all running around here, y'all running around here listening to people who, 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 who have, I don't understand it. I, I don't, I don't know their intentions. I really don't care. But this issue right here, I can't, I can't let it go. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to be quiet, but now we talking about alpha females. We talking about alpha males. You know what I'm saying? We applying money to what a high value individual is, and that's cool. If that's if, 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 if that's cool, but let's 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 base some of this shit in reality. It was needed because you got to really understand what it takes in leadership in a real dynamic world when you're trying to control your own stuff if you're basing it on an oppressive situation then that type of leadership once you get outside the walls of oppression will fall apart but anyway i've known many alpha males this is the doctor in my life chimpanzee alpha males and i'm going to talk about what an alpha male is because i think we can learn a lot from our close relatives where we have alpha males as an example i want to give you amos a male that i knew who was a young male 
He was an alpha male and was very popular, but he got sick. He lost his position because chimpanzee males can spot from a mile away if you're weak. And they went for him. He lost his position and then he got sicker and sicker until at some point we had to isolate him. The group lived on a grassy island and we had to isolate him in a cage, but we cracked open the cage so that the rest of the chimps still had access to him. Now, I want you to be clear about this. This is captivity. Say it with me. Say it with me now. Captivity. It's captivity. What happened was most touching. Other trips will bring food to him. They will bring wood, wool to him, which is a thing that they use to sleep on in or build nest out of. And females will put the wood, wool behind his back. He was leaning heavily against the wall. The way we do with pillows to patients in a hospital. They were putting that stuff behind his back and I thought, this is the way to go for an alpha male. He was loved and respected and everyone was taking care of him. This is not always how it goes because some males don't answer well when they lose their position. Amos was an example of a male who was liked as a leader. I think the term alpha male, if you look it up on the internet, you will find all these business books that will tell you how to be an alpha male. And what they mean is how to beat up others and beat them over the head and let them know that you're the boss and don't mess with me and so and so. Basically, alpha males for them is a bully. Let me say it again. For them is a bully. I really don't like that kind of description because I'm actually part, partly responsible for the term alpha male because I wrote it. I wrote this book. Chimpanzee Politics, which was recommended by Newt Gingrich to freshman congressmen. I don't know what good it did, but he recommended the book to them. After that, the term alpha male became very popular, but I think it is used in a mischaracterization. It's used in a very superficial way that doesn't relate to what a real alpha male is. And I'm so here to explain what that is. Listen, family. Especially those that's in Giamme. The term itself goes back actually much further to the 40s and the 50s. Research on wolves. Basically, the definition is very simple. The highest ranking male is the alpha male. The highest ranking female is the alpha female. Every primate group has one out al- one male, one alpha male, and one alpha female. Not more than that. There's only one I will explain. How that goes. First, the body language. What you see here is two male chimpanzees who are the same size, but one is walking upright. Has his hair up, has a big rock in his hand, and he's the alpha male. The other male is pant grunting to him, is being submissive to him, and bowing for him. That's the sort of ritual they need to go through many times a day in order to have a stable relationship. I show you a video video from the field. What you will see here is a female panning grunting to an alpha male. And you will see how that goes. The male is approaching. She grunts at him. He has all his hair up. He displays, I'm actually standing far too close. A chimpanzee is far stronger than I am. And this was not very prudent, this particular video. What you saw him do is he was lifting himself up and standing on two legs. So now, y'all can go and watch the video. I don't want to play the video because we don't want to get dinged. And he's putting his arms out. That's called a bipedal swagger. It's a very common posture in high-ranking males. And this is very, it's very recognizable because humans do this kind of stuff. Humans do this all the time. Where What I really like about this particular picture is the two old guys to the side. This is the very this this is the very chimpanzee. 
The chimpanzees have usually old males who are over the hill who cannot be alpha male themselves anymore, but they start playing games and forming coalitions behind the backs of the others. They become extremely influential, and you may actually have old males who are more influential than an alpha male himself. Just as an example, the three males that I used to work with, most at the Dutch Zoo, long ago where I, where I worked, the middle male, he is a 70-year-old alpha male. The male who is grooming on the side is twice as old, and this old male has made him the leader. You can imagine that the old male has an enormous amount of power because he has made the alpha male. He has made the alpha male alpha male. The male on the right is individually the strongest male. These individuals in captivity, you can test it out. The, wait, hold on. These individuals in captivity, you can test it out and you can know that the male, this male has no trouble with either one. He has only troubles with the combination of the two. All right, now check it out. So they're talking about the dynamics of the group. Let's get into it, brother. I think you said there's no such thing as the alpha males. No such thing as the alpha males the way in the way that we are looking at it and the way that we're trying to use it, right? The coalition formation that goes on in Chapazi's society makes it much more complex than you think. It means, for example, that the smallest male in a group can be the alpha male. You don't need to be the biggest and the strongest male. The smallest male, if he has the right friends to keep them happy or he has female support, he can be the alpha male. The coalition system makes everything complex. And I'm always w waiting here in the U.S. for the primaries, the end of the primaries, because that's the moment where you need to demonstrate unity. So he's comparing their behavior to human behavior. And you know what a coalition is? No, maybe you don't. We call the tribe here Giamme, right? Mm. Coalition. Hmm. You mean the alpha male ain't the bully? Alpha male ain't the biggest, the strongest? Only in captivity and even sometime in there. They're not. Now let me first show you how the unity is shown in chimpanzees. What you see here is two males on the left who are standing together. You also see the big canine teeth that they have, and they're standing together. They demonstrate to the rest of the group, we are together, we are a unit. The males on the right are walking together in synchrony. That's another way of demonstrating that you are together. You know, like maybe like wearing the same shirts. You know what I'm saying? Walking in rhythm together, standing together, and how you greet each other, in the rituals that you partake. There's no alpha male, there's a tribe. Hmm. There's a coalition. And different coalitions are formed. To bring different things or to bring different ends within the group. You understand? You understand? You see, when we start talking about alpha male, we're getting into this whole individual mind state that I've been trying to get us away from for the last five years. Getting back into the, the hustle porn and shit. Got to get up early. You're going out of work, man. Won't stop. That's hustle porn. Alpha male, I'm the alpha. Come on, fam. Y'all think, I mean, really, let's think about this. You honestly think Puffy is the alpha male? How about Jay Z? For real? Hmm. Okay. Were they individuals that were able to form the coalitions that could move them to where they need to be? 
I'm just asking questions. How about Dame Dash? He alpha? Or is he just loud? Or do we know how to form coalitions to get them where you need to be? Do we know how to formulate tribes? All right. So we went through here. That's another way of demonstrating that you're together. Also, demonstrating unity is extremely important in coalition systems. As I said, in the primates, all in primaries, always I'm waiting. Okay, cool. Where is it at? The very important part of the coalition system. That's something that we share between humans and chimpanzees. Hold on, cool. Let's get up here. Let's get. Let's go back. That's another way of demonstrating. That you are together. And so demonstrating unity is extremely important in a coalition system. As I say in primaries always, I'm waiting for the moment because then you have two members of the same party who have been fighting with each other. And they need to come together some at some moment and at least a very awkward situation. People who don't like each other need to embrace each other and stand together. That's absolutely essential for the unity of the party. If you don't do that, the party may fall apart. If it doesn't go well, like in uh, this particular case, then the party is in deep doo-doo because they have not demonstrated unity. That's a very important part of coalition systems, and that's something that we share between humans and chimpanzees. Now, how do you become an alpha male? First off, listen. Listen. You need to be impressive intimidating and demonstrate your vigor on occasion and show that you are very strong there are are all sorts of ways of doing that but other things that you need to do is you need to be generous 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 you know what i'm saying where, where does that come out in the conversations that we be having in our community generous for example males who go on a campaign to dethrone the leader which may take them two or three months where they're testing all the coalitions of the group. They also become extremely generous. They share food very easily with everyone. Or they start to tickle the babies of the females. Normally male chimpanzees are not particularly interested in females or infants. Damn, they become politicians. They become interested in the group. In the welfare of the group. They get to an end. But when they're campaigning like that, they get very interested in infants and they tickle them and they try to curry favor with the females. In humans, of course, I'm always intrigued by these men who are candidates and hold babies up like this. This is not particularly something that babies like, but since it is a signal to the rest of the world, they need to hold them in the air. I was really intrigued by when we had a female candidate in the last election. The way she held baby was more like this, which is what babies really like. But she, of course, did not need to send the message that she could hold the baby without dropping it, which was what the man was doing. This is a very common tactic in male chimpanzees. They spend a lot of time currying favor with all sorts of parties when they are campaigning. So they bring her all the different groups together because we do know we form groups and for some reason we think we wrong for doing that shit we form a coalitions right even tribes break down into little family units into little groups we all got our favorite people we don't get along with everybody and we don't have to get along with everybody but y'all got it wrong hold on now what are the privileges and the costs of being an alpha male? The biggest privilege is females. Food is really irrelevant. Male chimpanzees can go a week without food. If there's a female and they're sexually interested in her, food is secondary to sex. Hmm. I feel that shit. All right, excuse me. The male chimpanzee and evolutionary biologists, of course, we have an explanation for this. Is that sex leads to reproduction. Reproductive su success is the measure of, of evolution. That's how everything evolves. And so if males can enhance their reproductive success by being high ranking, you get automatically the ambition to be high ranking in the males. That's the privilege. The cost. Y'all ready? Not that you could beat people up. The cost. 
One cost is, of course, that you need to keep your partners happy. If you come to power with the support of an old male, you need to let that old male mate with females. If you don't do that, the old male is going to get mad at you and you're going to lose him as a partner. So there's a transaction going on. Hmm. You got to keep people happy. If you become alpha male this way, you need to keep your partner happy. And so that's one of the costs. The second cost is that everyone wants your position. Alpha male position is a very important position and everyone wants to take it from you. And you, so you constantly have to watch your back. You have to be extremely vigilant. For example, you have to disrupt the coalition of others. And that's what male chimpanzees do quite a bit. Divide and rule strategies they have. That's the very stressful situation. We actually have data on this. The data comes from the field from baboons, not chimpanzees in, that, in this case. Where they did fecal samples on the baboons and they analyzed them for gluco glucorticoids. What you see here is a graph where you see that the lower ranking the male baboon is, the higher is his cortisol level in the feces. This means he's more stressed. You know what I'm saying? But the alpha male, as you see, my fault, not that much stress, but the alpha male, as you see, has just a high level as the lowest ranking male. So <laughs> you may think that being alpha male is nice and dandy and it's wonderful, but it's actually a very stressful position. And we can demonstrate this physiologically. Now, what are the obligations? Now, listen to this. Get ready. Here for me, it gets really interesting and it deviates very much from your typical image of the alpha male. The alpha male has two sorts of obligation. One is to keep the peace in. Hold on. I need to take a sip on that one. One is to keep the peace in the group. We call this. We call that. The control role, control fights in the groups. The second is to be the most empath empathic, the consoler in chief, basically, of the nation, so to speak. Does that sound like the alpha male? That y'all, you know, that, that y'all been hearing about? Does that sound like the image that's being thrown out there to you? First of all, Keep it a piece. This male who stops a fight between two females. Two females on the left and the right have been screaming and yelling at each other over food because food is very important for the females. He stops the fight between them and stands between them like this. It's very interesting to me. The alpha males, when they do this, they become impartial. They don't support their mom or the best buddy or no. No. They stop fights and they come up for the underdog. Let me say that again. They stop fights and they come up for the underdog in general. And this makes them extremely popular in the group because they provide security for the lowest ranking members of the group. So they're the anti-bully. Hold on. This is not what y'all hearing. Right? This is not this is not what People are running around on the internet talking about when they're talking about an alpha male. This sounds like some tribal shit. This sounds like some shit Brilla Tim been talking about. Who? Oh, they never heard of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not popular. I'm sorry. You know, it's cool. They become impartial, which is an unusual condition for chimpanzees. To be in because they're usually very fond of their friends or so on. And these alpha males who are good at this, they can be very effective at keeping the peace in the group. The second thing they do is they show empathy for others. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for comments. I'm looking for the comments. Hold on. 
Maybe there's some coming through speaker. Maybe maybe somebody got something to shut me up. Right? Because I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. The shit y'all talking about don't exist in nature. It's comic book shit. Does this sound like what people are talking about? No. This sounds like some tribe shit. I keep telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we have always been ahead of the curve. Always been ahead of the curve. The second thing they do, I must read that again. They show empathy for others. They're not bullies. They don't feel that they're better than. They show empathy for others. They take up for the weakest in the tribe. Hold on. God standing in the congregation of mighty and judges amongst the gods. How long will he judge unjustly and set the persons of the wicked? I say, defend the poor and the father. Defend the poor and the fathers. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hands of the wicked, for they know not neither. Those of you that's been in Giami, do that sound familiar? Does that sound like this? Or does that sound like the bullshit that they spreading all over the internet right now? They got a lot of people in the tizzy. We got women wanting to be alphas. We got men wanting to be alphas. But the alphas that they talking about are better, more efficient, and more oppressive white men. Rather than the shit that we're reading that's coming right from the monkeys. Some tribal shit. Empathy. Consoler in chief. Peacemaker. Loving. Protective. Ooh. The second thing they do, they show empathy for others. I got to read. I got to keep reading that. Now, I do an enormous amount of research on empathy, and I don't have time to go into it. But empathy is nowadays a topic that we study in rodents and dogs and elephants and primates, all sorts of animals. What you see here is two about um, bonobos. Now, bonobos are freaks anyway, but anyway, they're the freaks of animal. They're the freakiest primates. Anyway. The one in front has been beaten up in a fight. The one in the back puts her arm around her and consoles her. This is actually how we measure empathy in young children. By looking at how they respond to distressed individuals. High-ranking males do a lot of this. High-ranking males provide an enormous amount of comfort in the group. Not lead a group. Not move away from the group. but provide enormous amount of comfort in the group. Y'all don't hear me. And they go places where there are earthquakes. My fault. High-ranking males do a lot of this. High-ranking males provide an enormous amount of control in the group. And they go to places where there are earthquakes or hurricanes and they provide comfort. The Pope does this. The president do, do this. All the leaders in the world have to do this job. The queen does it and so on. They all have to do this job. So providing consolation and that's a very, that's a very important task. Males who are good at these two, keeping the peace and providing comfort become extremely popular leaders. They are actually some self-interest involved in it. They don't do it just for the group. Because it also stabilizes, it stabilizes their position. So by serving, they stabilize their position. They guarantee that they have access to immortality. And they protect the group. 
The most popular male becomes an alpha male. The most popular male becomes an alpha male. The most popular male becomes an alpha male. And more, and the more the rest of them respect them and look up to them, the better their position is defended in case is going to be challenged by somebody else because then, of course, the whole group is going to support that male because they want to keep the leader who is good for them. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. The alpha male don't keep his position because he's able to, to, to beat up everybody. He keeps his position because he is able to form coalitions. He's able to console. He's able to practice empathy. And the whole group believes that he is the best and the most qualified and they love him and they do not want him to be replaced. And if there is a challenge from within the group or from out without the group, you're not challenging the one so-called leader. You're challenging the whole goddamn group because this, this guy benefits me. This is my guy. Are you that? Those of you running around talking about you alpha, are you that? Or you that individual motherfucker sitting by yourself talking about, I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha. I'm by myself. Alphas need nobody. All we do is rule. You can't be what you call an alpha if you don't have a tribe. And even, even then, you still got the definition because it's not alpha. You might be considered a chief, a leader. Alpha. Get the fuck out of here. All right, here we go. The group is very supportive of males who are good leaders and is not supportive at all of bullies. When bullies lose their position and they may end up in a very bad situation there. This is data actually on the cons constellation behavior. This is data on conservation in chimpanzees. You see for the medium and low ranking individuals, the females do more of it than the male. This is basically the whole community and this is true for all the mammal studies on empathy, the, that females have more of it than males. But look at the alpha male. The alpha male does far more than anybody else. And so that's the data on alpha males being the controller in chief, basically. The last thing I want to say is something about the alpha female. This is a picture of a mama. The alpha female of Arnhem Zoo, where I used to work. Now, a lot, of this, a lot of these studies is coming from zoos. I want y'all to check that out. Who is now all over the internet. I think 100 million clicks at the moment. She got more clicks than me. Y'all y'all need to help me. Can y'all help me get some clicks, please? Please. I'm begging. She ranked below the males. But she was the center of the community. If there was a big, if there was big trouble in the community, everyone would end up in the arms of mama. And so she was a very important figure. I don't want to minimize the position of the alpha female in the chimpanzee group. Then we have species that is equally close to you, to us, as the chimpanzees, the bonobo. Well, I forget about the bonobo. But the bonobos have a matriarchal society. And the alpha individual is a female, generally. Generally, it's females who at the top of the community, we know much less about how this is done. And how they get to that position. And what they do because we know much less about bonobos in general. But I do want to emphasize that the alpha in a group doesn't need to be a male. And that actually one of our close relatives, it is a female. The message I want to leave you with is that. If you're looking at men in our society who are the boss of, let's say, a family, a business, Washington or whatever. You call them alpha male. You should not insult chimpanzees by using the wrong label. You should not call a bully an alpha male. 
Someone who's big, strong, intimidates. And the source A1 is not necessarily an alpha male. An alpha male has all sorts of qualities. I have seen bully alpha males in chimpanzees. They do occur, but most of the ones that we have, most of the ones that we have leadership capacity and are integrated in, the, in, in their community, and like Amos at the end, they're loved and respected. It's very different. It's a very different situation than you may think. Thank you. So, many of us are getting it wrong. I'm sorry. Come here. I need some more juice. We're listening to people who have no understanding of the alpha. None. And I want you to get some understanding, especially those who does G.I. Me Journey. But, yo, this has been a brother high Tim. I'm on mile three. I ain't as I ain't as firm and shaped as you know. I ain't been working out, but you know I just started. I'm gonna get get it back together, get back on my mind three, so that we can start doing the show. But family, this is brother Hot Tim. I want to thank you for your time. And guess what? Guess what? What brother Hot Tim? What? What brother Hot Tim? I am. Ow.
Open your, your mind, mind out, so I know, know what you're thinking. thinking. Uh-huh. It's, it's in, in sync, sync now, it's out of sync. Fuck that, that nigga, nigga that ain't no link. 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 We, we make, make moves on, on your block. block. Rip it so, so hard, hard, I feel the rules on the block. 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 Watch my pop. pop. 17, 17 shots. shots. They say 17, 17 big niggas on 17, 17 blocks. blocks. You can catch me on my third day, they say Jesus on. I'm the boss of 